The following question reads uh, that the diagram shows a sector of a circle of radius 8 centimeters and angle 70 degrees. So this is the sector 8, uh, eight centimeter is the radius of this uh, of this circle from which this sector has been taken and 70 degrees is the angle of this sector and you have to calculate the shaded area so this is the area that we need to calculate now the very first thing before i calculate this area what i'm going to do is i'm i've drawn this bigger circle this bigger circle is the one uh, whose sector has been uh, taken out and uh, uh, so this is the sector of this bigger circle so i'm going to I'm going to find the area of this bigger circle and I know that the radius is uh, 8. So how do you find area? It's, uh, the formula is area of this big circle is pi r square. And uh, pi and the radius is over here. It's given as 8 centimeters. So it's going to be 8 square. And you're going to get 64 pi. That's, that is my area of this, of this bigger circle, this bigger circle over here. Once I have this area, what the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the uh, area of this sector. Now this sector is a percentage or a small portion of this bigger area. Uh, this bigger circle is uh, has a total radius of uh, 360 degrees. This sector only has a radius of 70 degrees. So its area would be proportionally divided. So this is what we are going to do. So my area of the sector would be 70 degrees out of 360 degrees. So this is the percentage area. Uh, 70 is the sector, 360 is the entire circle. So the area of the sector would be 70 out of 360. That's the fractional percentage of this sector uh, compared to the entire area. So 70 divided by 360 into the area of the entire circle. And we would be able to find the area of this sector over here. Now the very next thing we're going to do now is we're going to try and find the area of this triangle over here. Uh, so area of triangle is uh, given as half into base into height so this is my triangle over here and let's say this over here is my is my base so uh, i've highlighted it this is the base and the value is already known it's eight centimeters we also know the value of uh, this uh, angle this line over here because this is also the radius of this of this bigger circle uh, remember we're focusing on this smaller triangle but this this line over here is also the radius and this value would also be 8 centimeters. So since uh, this is your base, if you take this as your base, the perpendicular from that would be the height of the triangle. And we need to find the value of, the, of this height because that's not given. What we have is the angle of uh, this, uh, of this uh, sector, that's 70 degrees. So we can think of this smaller uh, triangle. Think of this smaller triangle. Uh, one side is known, that's 8 centimeters. Uh, angle is known and height can be calculated uh, using using the sine of 70 because if you take the sine of 70 sine of 70 degrees uh, and looking at this angle it's going to be the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse so it's going to be the height let's call that height h divided by divided by the hypotenuse which is 8 centimeter and you can find height h would then become 8 centimeters multiplied by sine of 70 degrees. So this is how you're going to find uh, the height of the triangle of this triangle over here, uh, the white triangle over here. You have found the base, uh, you have found the perpendicular height from the base. Uh, so using this formula now, I can calculate, I can calculate uh, the area of the triangle which is going to be, it's a uh, half. Uh, half into base base is eight centimeters so half into eight into the height which is eight centimeters into sine 70 degrees so it's half into eight into eight sine 70 degrees uh, so in this way you would be able to find the area of the white triangle and you have also found the area of the entire big sector so you found the area of the bigger sector this bigger sector and you found the area of this smaller triangle the only thing left to do is you need to subtract uh, the area of the triangle from the area of the sector. So let's uh, do that now. So we're going to try and subtract them and write uh, and we can, we're going to calculate the shaded area now over here. So your final answer is going to be 70 divided by 360 into 64 pi, which is the area of the sector minus the area of the tri triangle, which is going to be half into 8 into 8 sine 70 and your answer is going to be 
So on my calculator, my value is coming out to be equal to 9.025 centimeter, uh, centimeter squared. So that would be the area of uh, this shaded region over here. Let's write this down over here. As it's coming out to be 9.025 centimeter square. In part B, the question now reads uh, that they've shown you this diagram. A piece of chocolate is in the shape of a prism with the shaded area part A being the cross section. So this over here is your cross section. The rectangular base of the chocolate is 16 centimeters by X centimeters. So this is a rectangular base. Uh, so I've drawn the shaded line to show you the rectangular base uh, that's going. That's the rectangular base of this chocolate. And this is the top of the chocolate. So um, the rectangular base uh, has one side is 16 centimeters. The other side is X centimeters. The piece of chocolate is to be placed in a box which is cuboid of size 6 centimeters by X centimeters by 1.5 centimeters. So they've given you the base and the height as well. So the first part is show that the chocolate will fit inside the box. Now the key to answering this question is that uh, they've already told you that the shaded area, the one that's given over here, uh, that shaded area from part A being its cross section. So, so the area that we calculated in the previous part, uh, this area over here is the cross section of, uh, uh, and we have also found that area, it's 9.025 centimeters square. So this area over here is the cross section that's given in the next part. Uh, that's the cross section of this chocolate over here. So the only thing that needs to be calculated is, uh, calculated is uh, we need to calculate this, is the height of this cross sectional area because, uh, because if you look at the cuboid that uh, this chocolate piece would fit into, the base is 16 centimeters, the width is X centimeters. So the piece of chocolate is to be placed in a cuboid of size uh, 16 by X centimeter and the height is of that particular box is 1.5 centimeters. So we just need to prove that the height of the chocolate, the, the, the length and the width of the chocolate exactly match that cuboid box they are exactly the same so so we're not going to have any problems over there that's that would hit, fit perfectly with the with the box but the height is the issue we don't know what the height of the chocolate is but we, we know that the height of the box is uh, 1.5 centimeters so we just need to prove that the height of the chocolate is lesser than the height of the box if the height is lesser then this chocolate piece would easily fit into this particular box so I've again uh, drawn the sector over here. I've just copied values over here. This uh, side was 8 centimeters and this side was also 8 centimeters. This was the, uh, if you remember properly, this was the radius of the circle whose sector this was. Uh, just like the image, uh, remember going back just to show you what's happening. Uh, this is uh, the shaded area that we calculated. This was 8 centimeters. This was 8 centimeters. Uh, so let's go back and uh, I've copied everything. Now, this was the radius of the circle of the bigger circle uh, so if this is eight centimeters this is eight centimeters then this uh line over here this length over here would also be eight centimeters so this entire length is also eight centimeters it's the radius of the circle whose sector this was uh so this is eight centimeters so if i can somehow uh find the height of this distance over here I can subtract it from 8 centimeters over here and I can find this height over here. So what I just need to do is I need to find the height which is given over here. Uh, so I'm going to mark it. So I've marked this length in green. This is the one that I'm going to try and find. Uh, so um, what we know is that in the previous uh, in part A, we know that this angle over here is 70 degrees. So if I divide this particular sector into two, if I split it into two, I know that this portion over here would be 35 degrees. So I know that this portion over here is 35 degrees. Uh, so I have two things. And look at this triangle over here, this tiny triangle over here. You know the hypotenuse of this triangle and you know the adjacent side of this, uh, of this uh, triangle. Uh, you don't know the opposite side of this triangle. So I, what I can do is I can use cos of 35 so cos of 35, which is this angle over here, this angle over here, that's uh, 35. So cos of 35 is going to be the adjacent side, which is the unknown, which is this green over here, the adjacent side. Remember, I'm talking about this triangle over here. So cos of 35 is going to be the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse side. 
So it's going to be the adjacent side, the one that is shown in green over here, divided by the uh, hypotenuse, which is 8 centimeters. So your, uh, this green side, so this green arrow over here is going to come out to be, its value is going to be if I multiply 8 by cos 35, that would, that would give me my adjacent side. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to be 8 cos of 35 degrees. So that is uh, this green arrow over here. So finally, I need to find the height, uh, this small red arrow over here. I know this length over here, the blue one, that's 8 centimeters, and this green one is 8 cos 35. So this red arrow over here is going to be, it's going to be this 8 centimeter minus this green arrow over here, which is 8 cos 35. So 8 centimeters minus 8 cos 35 degrees. And the answer I'm going to get is 1.44 seven centimeters so that's the that's the height of this gray section over here it's 1.44 centimeters and what was the height of our box so let's uh, read carefully the height of the box was given as 1.5 centimeters the height of the chocolate is coming out to be 1.44 centimeters so if it's coming out to be uh, less than the height of the box then this chocolate would easily it's going to easily fit in the box because the height of the chocolate is coming out to be lesser than the height of the box moving to the next part of the question uh, part 2 uh, now it's given that these boxes are to be packed in cartons in the shape of a cuboid so uh, these boxes are being packed into uh, in the shape of a cuboid the size of each carton is 48 centimeters by 4 centimeters by 24 centimeters Find the maximum number of boxes that can be pa packed inside one carton. So what we can do is we can find the volume of the carton. We have given the height, the breadth and the volume. So volume of the carton is going to be the height into breadth into length, which is going to be in this case, it's going to be 48 centimeters by 4x centimeters by 24 centimeters. So this is my... This over here is my total volume of the carton. We can then try and find the volume of one box of chocolate. So volume of one box is going to be, let's see uh, where, that, where that information was given. It's given over here. The volume of the, this cuboid size box is 16 centimeters by X centimeters by 1.5 centimeters. So, so let's go back and uh, find the volume. It's going to be 16 centimeters by X centimeters by 1.5 five centimeters so this is the volume of uh, one box of chocolate and this over here is the volume of the entire carton so how are you going to find uh, the maximum number of boxes that are going to affect uh, inside this carton you simply divide the volume of the carton by the volume of one box and you will be able to find the number of boxes so we're going to do exactly that so this over here is the expression that I'm going to get uh, volume of carton divided by one volume of one box that's going to give me the number of boxes so 48 into 4 into 24 divided by 16 into x into 1.5. This x will, uh, that's the first thing that's going to get cancelled down and you can simplify this expression. And the exact value that you're going to get is going to be, if you solve it on your calculator, it's going to give you 192. Uh, so the number of boxes is going to be 192 boxes. So this is my answer to this question. So the volume of the entire carton divided by the volume of one box of chocolate and that gives me 192 boxes can fit into this one carton.